All right, I'll admit it. One of my guilty pleasures is pizza. I just love it. And one of my favorite places to get pizza is a little pub called No Name Pub. Now, it's been a landmark here in the Keys since 1935. Now, I think that the history might be almost as good as their pizza. Doug, thank you for being on the show with me today. My pleasure. <laughs> well, it's great having you here. And I want you to tell our viewers a little bit about the history of No Name Pub. Well, obviously, everybody knows about the, uh, the pub and the pizza and the dollar mm -hmm. bills. But, you know, people might not realize that even though the sign on the building says uh, established in 1936, it was actually built in 1935. Mm -hmm. um, it started out as a bait and tackle store, general store, um, nothing like it is today. Um, you know, they, the workers from the, uh, from the Seven Mile Bridge, mm -hmm. Um, the, the old Flagler Railroad, you know, they used to use that place uh, frequent it. Um, it actually at one point had a brief history uh, as a brothel upstairs, but the uh, story goes that the guys that were frequenting it, the fishermen, the workers, were better looking than the women that worked there. <laughs> so that was kind of a short-lived venture. <laughs> okay. Some people don't realize that before the Seven Mile Bridge was built, the only way to get to Key West was a ferry from Lower Matacumbe and it came in at the end of Watson Boulevard. Mm -hmm. um, so travelers at that point had to come past the No Name Pub. That was kind of the gateway to the Lower Keys, Key West. Um, so I think somebody at that point figured, you know, maybe we should make it a place where the tourists could stop, the travelers could stop and have something to drink and maybe something to eat. Um, not a whole lot changed uh, until the 60s actually when uh, two Italians bought the place and hence where we get the pizza from. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, the recipe for the pizza sauce we still use today. Really? Yeah. I was going to ask about that, you know, what's that secret to the sauce? So. Well, we can't really tell you the secret, <laughs> but uh, fortunately uh, the brothers had written the recipe on the wall mm -hmm. so that the, the cooks could duplicated on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, when the new owners took over, they copied it down and we have it put away now so that we can use it on a daily basis. But okay. it's, it's basically the same recipe that they used years ago and, mm -hmm. you know, that's one of the things that we're known for. Mm -hmm. The pizza. The it's pizza. Delicious. And another thing that you're known for, Doug, is the dollar bills that our viewers can see behind us that are posted, plastered, I guess I should say, all over the wall. How did that begin? Well. Uh, as you can see by the picture, we have dollar bills from, from ceiling to, to floor, every corner, five, ten deep on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, got started probably 35 years ago. A uh, customer had a crush on the bartender. Mm -hmm. And this guy was kind of shy and you know, didn't know how to express his feelings to her. So he, uh, after eating one day, he wrote his name and his phone number and left it with his tip. Mm -hmm. Well, she thought that was kind of cute and, mm -hmm. and didn't want to just put it away in her pocket with the rest of her tips, so she stuck it up on the wall behind the bar. Mm -hmm. Well, throughout the day, in and out of the kitchen, uh, next thing you know, other people saw it and they put dollar bills up and other people put dollar bills up. Next thing you know, people were leaving other friends' notes. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, here we are 35 years later with I don't know, thousands and thousands yeah. and thousands of dollars. Have you ever counted the dollars? Like, have you ever taken them all off and then started over again? Or I'm a busy man. Yeah. I don't have time for that. <laughs> that would take Anybody a long Anybody that time. wants to volunteer to come up and count them are more than welcome to. <laughs> but do people steal the dollars ever? Well, you know, from time to time, and I, I guess the, f the first one I got, I get a letter uh, mm -hmm. from time to time and the first one is probably the most memorable one. I had been there maybe three years and uh, I got a letter in the mail and mm -hmm. you could tell it was written by a, a young child because it was mm -hmm. in pencil on the envelope and it was in block lettering. Mm -hmm. When I opened it up it had the, the three line paper in it mm -hmm. so you had your upper and lower case letters and it was handwritten in pen, pencil and it said something to the effect of, uh, you know, I, I took these when I was in the restaurant with my family having pizza. I'm sorry I was wrong. Oh. And, and I just pictured this, this, this poor boy uh, at the kitchen table with his mom or his dad over top of him, <laughs> teaching him a lesson that that was wrong to do. Right. And, you know, him sniffling as he's writing this letter. Oh. 
So I actually wrote the, wrote the boy back mm -hmm. and uh, sent him a $5 gift certificate and said when he was 21 to come down mm -hmm. and see me and, mm -hmm. you know, I'd buy him a beer. But, you know, since then, since then I have received, I don't know, a dozen or so letters from children returning money, crumpled up dollar bills <laughs> in an envelope, to adults um, that have said, you know, I was there and after one too many beers I took these and you know my conscience has been bothering me ever since so I'm sending them back and hoping for good karma. <laughs> Isn't that something that you get the dollar bills back? Well, you know I, I, occasionally I get a phone call from somebody at one of the local convenience stores or the bank that someone was mm -hmm. trying to pass them to buy cigarettes and you know what do I want to do with that and mm -hmm. you know it, it's kind of like the whole concept. We don't we don't consider it ours. It belongs mm -hmm. to the people that put it up there. Mm -hmm. We don't take them down. We don't ever change it around. We don't ever do anything to it. Um, they stay there. If you put one up, it will be there the next mm -hmm. year. And mm -hmm. you know that's kind of one of the draws for the places. People come and they put their dollar bill up. They become a part of the pub mm -hmm. history, and then they'll come back the next year to and see. to see it and mm -hmm. put another one up. You'll see places where you know you've got. 2008, 2009, 2010 with a mm -hmm. family name on it. They've got their little spot, their little hiding place. Everybody now tries to uh, outdo one another. We've yeah. got some with with uh, beads on them mm -hmm. and some with feathers on them and you all have, kinds of... You have every kind of thing and our viewers just need to go and see it for themselves and they also need to check out your pizza because that's what you're known for. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know. thank you. Our, our viewers can see the website and the number on the bottom of the screen. Doug, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. I will be into No Name Pub soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after this.